YouTube Video SEO can give you a huge advantage here on YouTube, even in 2024. In fact of the matter is, if you're not gaining at least 1,000 subscribers every single month, then give me 90 seconds and I'll make you a believer. Here's why. You already know it's competitive, but if you don't have a strategy that's not only proven, but is working for you, it doesn't matter. Because the reason you're not getting any views is other big YouTubers are being prioritized over you. So the thing we want to do is identify specific topics and keyword phrases within our niche that are less competitive, but still have the same audience that we want to gain. I can guarantee you that this is incredibly powerful. And when you understand the fundamentals of what I'm going to break down, the sky is the limit. Now, fact of the matter is, it all begins with understanding that we need to talk about YouTube video packaging and we need to get really clear on what's most important. So when we talk about video packaging, we've got topic, title, and thumbnail. And fact of the matter is, it pretty much begins with the topic because it doesn't matter how great your title is, or your thumbnail is. If nobody is interested in the topic, they're not gonna click. Just like trying to get a kid to eat broccoli, it ain't happening. But after that, when you select a topic that viewers are excited about, you have to really come up with a keyword phrase that will reduce the competition that's currently kicking your butt, right? I mean, if you're not getting the views, you can continue to do the same thing over and over again, or you can mix it up and you can strive to identify the keyword phrases that will dramatically reduce the competition, allowing you not just to drive views, but to drive significant views week after week. So number one is the video title. And what you're gonna wanna do is, again, you're gonna wanna do research to identify keyword phrases that are less competitive. Let's take this particular video title for example. It is YouTube Video SEO 2024. Now the first thing I want you to realize is that is a specific keyword phrase that viewers are searching for. And my goal with this particular video is not to drive a million views. Now other videos I'll publish, I'll have that goal. This is like an insurance policy. So I know I can always be driving more views than last month. So my goal is to drive 50,000 views over the next two years with this one particular video. And it works because of this insurance policy methodology. How exactly does this work? The first thing I want to recommend, and I want to warn you as we move forward, I think in a different manner. I, I do things to the drum of my own beat, if you will. A lot of people will say, you got to log out of YouTube. I say, why would you want to do that? when you can instead watch the videos that your viewers are watching. You can pay attention to the competition and you can watch videos by, again, the leading players in your industry. And then when you search for a keyword phrase, you can see, do those channels show up? And if they don't, guess what? That is opportunity for you. For example, if we take a look at the keyword phrase, that I targeted with this particular video. Well, you don't see Nick Nimmin or Think Media. You don't see VidIQ or Nate Black. None of them have targeted this keyword phrase yet. And I got to let you know, you're in a great spot if you're watching this in February of 2024, because it's early in the year. Notice 2024. Notice all these keyword phrases that have the year. This happens every single year like clockwork. Knowing that has allowed me to drive more views by simply adding 2024 into my video title. So the first step of the process is you wanna get clear on who your competition is. When you identify these channels in your niche, I want you to go through and look at all the possible videos that you could make that they've already made. And I want you to think about seed keyword phrases. So when I look at Nick Nimmin, does he talk about how to get more reviews? Yes. How about Think Media? Yes, and VidIQ. But I also notice when it comes to Think Media, 
that they talk about ranking YouTube videos. Well, I've done this a long time, but I haven't targeted this type of content in a long time because when I dropped off of YouTube, I was at the high point. I no longer had to. But today, as I'm reviving my channel, as I'm gaining a new audience, if you don't know, I took a long break. I was gone for years. I didn't publish for nine, nine months in 2023. But this is the process. So you identify, say, five niches, and then you're going to go through and you're going to pay attention to the videos that they're publishing. And you're going to think, well, how competitive is that space? And when you start doing that, and then you look at the results on your account, because you're watching videos from the leading players, you're going to get an indication as to opportunity. And the number one ranking video for this keyword phrase at the time of posting is based on a video from Moz. The video has like maybe 2000 views and I know my video title is going to be much more powerful. I'll explain why as we move forward. And furthermore, I'm confident in my subscriber base clicking and watching. Fact of the matter is this video will probably now get ready for another weird way to think. This video will probably be a six out of 10 or a seven out of 10 early. But the thing I want you to consider is what's going to happen when I look at the performance of this particular video in six months? Well, in six months, it's going to have the opportunity to drive a tremendous amount of views from search and suggested. I want to let you know when you target search in this particular manner, you may be surprised that it's not just about getting views from search. For example, this video on the screen now, I used this very method that I taught way back in the day that still works today. <laughs> and I drove 40% of my views. So less than half of my views actually came from YouTube search. The rest was from browse. But guess what happens to browse over time? The views diminish. Can you dig what I'm laying down? Can I get a hallelujah? Because when you add a keyword phrase to the beginning of your video title, again, notice here I'm searching YouTube for YouTube video, and then I type in S and I see these keyword phrases. And then if I add a 202, notice I've got a lot of different keyword suggestions from YouTube. These are phrases that my viewing audience is searching for. These are people saying, please make a video based on this. So I'm going to start my video title with exactly the search term that I found in YouTube suggest in the YouTube search bar. And I'm going to begin again. I'm going to begin my video title with that particular phrase. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a secondary phrase that will allow me to drive views for even more terms. Notice the title of this video. It goes on, right? It's uh, YouTube video SEO 2024 dash how to rank videos and get views. Now, when we look at my example that I shared earlier from years ago, You'll notice the amount of different keyword phrases people typed and found my video with was endless. In fact, it was so much that I could barely get the web page to load. Furthermore, you may say 27,000 views is not enough. Well, are you driving 27 views, 27,000 views to the videos you're publishing? And when you do this, what will happen is you'll get those views. And then you'll get more views on your next video and your next video and so on. And that's what makes this so very powerful. So I want to encourage you to begin the process by just being really aware of what people are searching for and then paying attention to the ranking videos when you search for a deep keyword phrase. Well, what does that mean, Brian? What's a deep keyword phrase? I'd rather target four keyword phrases in one particular search term. I should say four words, right? So this phrase, for example, is YouTube video SEO 2024. That's a four word phrase and it's a lot easier, statistically speaking, to rank for a four word phrase rather than say a two word phrase. Two words means more competition. 
forwards means I'm reducing the competition just like I've done here and I can move forward. But I have to warn you, a lot of this misinformation that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it's people talking about things like, you know, well, your YouTube tags and your description, listen, YouTube has mentioned watch time again and again and again. And what really matters is how long you keep somebody watching the moment they click on your video. And then there's one other thing that's really powerful. It's based on how the algorithm rewards videos and there's kind of a glitch in the system that's been present for a long time. And this video on the screen covers that very thing. Click that video, I'll see you there. You dig? I can love you better, baby.